To add a Google account to an existing computer or laptop, you simply go up to the bookmarks bar and where you see the icon for the account that is open, you click on that and you go all the way to the bottom and you click add. At this time, you need to name it. So if it's a child's account that you're adding, give it your child's name. So we'll use Johnny. And you can choose an icon for Johnny, and then you click Add. Once you, once you click Add, you want to make sure you click Already a Chrome user sign in because the students have a, an account through school. So you would enter the student's email or yes, email address, which is their student number, one, two, three, four, five, six, at students, plural, dot cnusd dot k12 dot ca dot us. Now this is a fake account. The next thing that you would do is you're going to add the password and then continue and go on to adding the rest of the information required. When you come to the window at the top, it'll say link data or cancel. You want to link the data. What that means is all of the students bookmarks for iReady, for Benchmark, any bookmarks or extensions the student has with their account will show up. If you don't link data, Every single time you sign into that computer, you're going to have to go through it all over again. Once you've done that, the best way to navigate between the accounts is that top icon right there. You'll see here's Johnny's, but here are maybe mom and dad's and sister's other accounts. If you want to open another account, you would do it by clicking on that icon and clicking on the account you want to open. So what happens is, I'm using a Mac so it looks a little different, is that you now have two windows open. So I'm gonna swipe over here to little Johnny's and you'll notice there are two windows open, one for Johnny and one for mom. If you're on a PC, like a Dell computer or something like that, it's gonna show up here at the bottom you'll have two Chrome icons and one will have little Johnny's monkey and the other Chrome icon will have um, the parent's puppy or whatever they've selected, or it could just be their initial. But that is how you navigate having two different accounts or multiple accounts on the same device. And that is the best practice for navigating back and forth between the accounts.